I cook classical cuisine. Everybody knows me for that. It's something that I have a real passion for. We may be classical, but we have evolution. I'm John Williams. I'm executive chef here at the Ritz. Okay, Samash, one Cornish crab, one roast scallop, one squab pigeon, one salad on your belly pork. Fet mash hey! I'm going to cook you a butter poached lobster with a ginger scented lobster cream. First and foremost, we take a lobster, which we've actually stunned by actually putting in the freezer. This is basically blanched for about two minutes, and then it's just enough to take the flesh away from the carcass. Okay, here we have the blanched lobster, and we're just going to take the claws and legs off. Then removing the body from the head. So there we have the whole tail to pull it off. It's a little butter. And there is our little emulsion and away we go. This is then just got to be vacuumed all in together. It's operating 24 hours a day. We produce everything but our sandwich bread. Everything is handmade here. What we're going to do is roast our carcasses. And you'll see this gets quite hot. The good thing about this dish, you use every single piece of the lobster. So, here I've got a little mirror pot. I've got just a touch of lemongrass, uh, a touch of cardamom, and crush them. It's not something that I'm actually trying to get a, a real flavor from. I think this is the, the perfect element of a Eastern dish being influenced in, in French cuisine. So, we also have a few star aniseed, a vanilla pod, the ginger, star aniseed, and of course, not forgetting our cardamom. And then you see, this is where with a touch of armagnac, now you can smell it, huh? And then a touch of white wine, a little bit of the vegetable stock, and a little touch of the chicken stock. It is just very, very simple double cream. A lot of people like to put a personal stamp on their cuisine. What they forget to tell you is where they've learnt it from. And I promise you, every single time, it comes from a classic traditional technique. Same process again, into the vacuum bag. So we take our sauce. And what's very important, of course, is that we just push all of the juice through and take it back to the stove. Just another taste. Next, we have our carrot puree there. We've got our sauce. We have our crones, which are glazed, the baby leeks and the carrots. So it's a matter of just dressing up. It's quite aromatic and it blends so well. Just place a lobster there. This is a main course. Uh, this size is definitely a main course. Just place our baby leeks, carrots once again. To give it a little texture, one is a little texture to the sauce. Got a poached lobster with the ginger scented cream. I think the most important thing in any training whatsoever is to get what I call building blocks. They must understand how to make stock. They must understand how to bake. They must understand how to poach. 
Well, look, this is the crab of the day. This is crab with uh, soured apple puree, and my name is Jeremy Grant. I'm the executive sous chef. I'm Adam Smith. I'm premier sous chef. Uh, this is our pigeon du jour. It's a breast of squab pigeon with a Sef Angolotti and parsnip puree. Hi, I'm Adam Bowden, uh, Premier Chef de Party. This is sea bass and yalaka, roast wild sea bass with razzle hanout and salted lemon. Michael Hodges, I'm Demi Chef de Party. This is Tarina Goose Liver with spiced pears and pork. I'm Daniel Putt, Chef de Party. This is the lamb a la carte. Fillet and cutlet of Kent lamb with sweet bread ravioli and shallot puree. Charlie Farwell, Academy Apprentice. Warm lobster, sweet lemon zest puree and fennel. Good morning, my name is uh, Regis Boyer. I'm the head fish chef of the Ritz. And today we're presenting the black figs from Italy, uh, roasted in port with raspberry sorbet. I've got some 55 chefs here. Um, we need 105. We work very, very hard. We have a, a butchery and a fish preparation. Over there on the left, the breakfast is still going. As we move along into the kitchen, we have four main sections. We have the entremetier. The entremetier is taking care of all the farinaceous dishes. Then I have the, the poissonnier. Poissonnier obviously looking after all of the cooked fish and shellfish. We have the saucier. Saucier is taking care of all of the poultry game. Then we have our pastry. Over here, the larder. Then we have a, a small snack area. This is my private dining kitchen in actual fact. This area here is the bakery. It's also the area where we do all of the pastes, all of the doughs, all of the afternoon tea preparation. Massive area, a big business area. 